The other big news, I guess, was uh, Tesla Insurance is going to two additional states, Oregon and Virginia. So now they'll be in five states total. Um, and I know Elon had said that their goal, Tesla's goal was to be in most states by the end of 2022. I don't think we're going to see that happen. Maybe we get to 20 or 25 if things really go smoothly. What do you think? Yeah. And, you know, and, and they said, obviously, you know, it's tough because you have to go state by state. It's not like a federal thing where you can be like, all right, everybody, here's the blanket thing. Everybody has their own regulations mm-hmm. and stuff that you've got to go through. But they're obviously making progress on it. You know, Zach Kirkhorn talked about it on the Q3 earnings call uh, about how big it's going to be. And it's I think it's like a sleeper. Like a lot of people don't know. And, and I don't know. I would love to see... How to, I doubt they would do it now, but if they break out that revenue separately to see what they're getting for revenue from the insurance, but they also stated that uh, they're going to start doing their own underwriting also. So talk about vertical integration. I mean, everything they do is all in house, so they don't have to use third parties for anything, and, and that keeps the cost down for all of it. Yeah, all the uh, time to short the insurance companies, I guess. They're going to be losing a big chunk of their revenue. I, I was seeing the statistics. They're showing up, um, you know, those on the Tesla insurance versus, uh, you know, the traditional insurances. Um, depending on your safety score, you could save 20 to 40% on your premium. And if you have like the top notch safety score, you're talking 30 to 60% cheaper than what you would have to pay otherwise, which is incredible. Oh, yeah. And you think about it. I mean, Tesla, obviously, they've got the safety store scores built right into the vehicle versus a lot of other insurance companies. They've got to give you a device to put onto your car, drive around, and then you've got to drive like a grandma for a couple of weeks to get your you know, ratings in a good place to get yourself a good rate. So you know, Tesla already has that built into their vehicle. So they're all good to go there. And because they're so vertically integrated, they can keep their insurance costs down. And you know, because of the way they do it, you know, it's like, hey, you drove well for the last two months, so we're going to lower your insur- your insurance rate. You know, you're not going to get that with any other insurance company. And a lot of the insurance companies I've talked to and people I've talked to who are, you know, trying to get their Tesla insured, they're like, most of the companies don't even know how to insure a Tesla because of the safety is so good, but it's still a higher value vehicle. So that's yeah, why yeah. the rates are going to be so high because they're, they're so pricing high. it. Yeah, they're pricing it as a luxury vehicle versus as what it truly is. And yeah, so I mean, I'm hoping that maybe they'll have it in Connecticut so I can get Tesla insurance in Connecticut. Um, but I will talk to my buddy who um, who has his Tesla and see what he does. Just another stream of revenue for Tesla that'll probably be mostly profit, especially once they're, you know, full self-driving. Um, the possibilities are really endless. I mean, oh yeah, it's going to be a cash yeah, machine. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And I'm just waiting. And, you know, we were talking before about, you know, what are they going to do with their money? And I'm like, you know, the school and when it's, you know, and I know Elon joked about it, but I don't think it's a joke. I think he's really doing it. I don't think it's a joke. Thinking about about how vertically integrated the company is, what is the only thing they really don't have vertically integrated right now? And that's their talent. So if he can create a college where they can basically train engineers to be who they want them to be, they're now they're vertically integrating their talent as yeah, well. That's actually I mean, a really I, interesting point. Yeah. Yeah. And I think about, you know, my, my son and I watch baseball all the time and, you know, you guys got the guys coming up to the farm leagues and the Yankees have a great farm system and always have because they breed their own and, you know, raise them as Yankees. I think Elon's going to do that with his engineers. That's truly the, the long term, long term sustainability they're, they're building. I mean, generations uh, out that would uh, affect. Yeah, I am, mean, you know, kids are going to, you know, kids are like, oh, do you want to go to MIT? No, I want to go to TITS. And, <laughs> and, and I mean, I, I think that might actually be announced this year. I'm is it going to be, want... it's the, the Texas Institute of Technology and Technology Science, and is Science. it? Yeah. Amazing. So that, that, might be his, <laughs> that might be his master plan. He will probably have that in there. I would not put it past him. That's, I, I haven't heard anyone say that yet. That's actually like a really interesting, uh, Maybe that'll be in the master plan. Yeah, that'll be wild. Wow.